Hey guys, it's me, Sona Kim Killer, and today it's Friday, and today is a NXT Live episode, so before I go over there, I got a Mountain Dew review to show you. <laughs> I'm glad to see you guys, because I got something in the mail from a friend of mine, Miss Lem, and it's a flavor that I would never, ever thought I would get in my hands at all. I'll gladly show you. My friends and ladies and gentlemen, I have, no, I didn't find it. My friend, Lem, has found Mountain Dew Solar Flare. And you're probably saying to yourself, what is it doing inside in a flaming Hot bottle? Uh, are you drinking flaming Hot Solar Flare? No, I'm not drinking flaming Hot Solar Flare. No, that sounds disgusting. Uh, but I couldn't get a full bottle of this, but that's okay, I'm not mad about it because why should I be? You know, the most thankful part is, you know, that she sent me some, and I was really happy and very fortunate for that. You know, it's been five, six years that I never had Solar Flare. The last time I had Solar Flare was, I'm not going to, uh, well, I'll tell you. It was in 2017, at like the end of 2017, the beginning of 2018. That was the last time I actually had it. And the funny thing about that time when I had it, it tasted like water. So I'm under the assumption that when I went to that 7-Eleven, when it used to be here in Orange Park, it's not here anymore now because it's gone. Um, when it was there and when I got it, I think the syrup, there was no syrup. Maybe that's why it did not taste so good and it tasted like water. And for the past few years, I've been asking people in the Dew community on Dew Drinker Discord and Facebook and Mountain Dew fan page and all the other Mountain Dew uh, pages out there in the world. I've asked and said, hey, is anybody still having solar flare out there? Because I have never had it since 2017, and I really want to retry it. And solar flare is a funny flavor because, like, it originally started in 7-Eleven, and then it started going away, like, sporadically. Like, uh, I don't even know if that's a word, and if it's not, oh, well, I'm sorry. But... It started going away slowly, like, like not too quick, but it was going slowly, like a slow burn. Like, solar flare was going away. Florida, we didn't have solar I mean, we had it, but then it went away in 2017 or 18. Other areas like Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, um, New York, um, uh, I'm trying to think of another state of ten oh, uh, Tennessee and some other states around the upper Midwest area, down south area, upper west, I don't care whichever. Um, they didn't have it anymore. And now we're in 2022 and solar flare has not even made it anywhere, but there's rare tiny places that actually has it that I'm surprised. But could this be, uh, maybe a return of solar flare for 2022? I have no idea. But yeah, like I said, solar flare came out in 2000 and... 14 if I recall because I can't really remember I think it was 2014 it came out or 2013 and it was only out for 7-eleven in uh, Fountain form and they had it in freeze form and then they started going away and then 2019 or 20 no not no 2020 I'm sorry 2020 uh, Bojangles picked up the old trademark of solar flare and renamed it to Mountain Dew Southern Shock and Southern Shock is a funny flavor because it, there's a lot, there's a big rumor out there that Solar Flare is the same as Southern Shock or vice versa, different, different taste similarities. Um, is that true? I have no idea. Um, uh, but I will save a tiny bit of this so I can do that. Um, but yeah, uh, the flavor background of it, it's supposed to be a Tropical Punch flavor. This is the original first Tropical Punch for Solar Flare. Uh, Southern Shock it has the same description flavor. Same thing with Baja Punch, and if you got if you guys want to add Typhoon, you can add it to the list maybe. But originally, Typhoon is a punch of tropical, which is strawberry and pineapple, or other dew flavors. Um, Solar Flare is legit the tropical punch. Southern Shock is the same thing. Baja Punch is the same thing. So you got three of them that are using the same description, just like uh, Sangria Blast and Cyclone using and, and Overdrive. Same thing. Citrus Punch, when it's Overdrive's not Citrus Punch. But, yeah, um, let me stop talking and let me get over with this and just try it out, right? Right? Enough talking. <laughs> and, Lem, thank you so much for sending me some. You rock. You rock. <laughs> All right. Ooh. 
You hear that carbonation? You hear that carbonation sound? That's you could tell that it's good. Now, let's do a sniff on this real quick. Mmm. Okay. Okay. I smell the tropical punch. I smell it. Yeah, I smell that punch. That punch is really punching me in the nose real good. Now, usually I don't do this, but this is the first time I'm going to do this. Solar flare would taste a lot more better if it's actually cold. So let's try it out, right? Shall we? Yeah. And as you can see from the color here, it's the same color like Southern Shock. Same color as Southern Shock, but a little bit less orangey. But yeah, it's in this cup here, in the Christmas cup. <laughs> Christmas is over. <laughs> Let's get over with it, right? Hmm. Mm. Okay. I could taste melony. I could taste melon. Or um it's like a it's kind of like a green tea-ish. The fuck am I Hold on. Okay. I, <laughs> yo, stupid me. I almost took this cap and twisted it on this glass cup. It's not a bottle. <laughs> um, so far, let me try one more time. Okay. So, me trying this, it's not bad, it's really good. I taste more like, I, I taste melon, like I think lemon? Some kind of a melony I'm, taste I'm getting. Um, it's really good. It, now, is it strong? No, fortunately not. But that's okay, you know, it doesn't have to be strong, I mean, like, when I say strong, like, they didn't have carbonation in it and all the other stuff. No. I mean, it was flat. But I don't care. You want to why? Because it's so good. It's still good. Carbonated or flat, doesn't matter. It still tastes good. I don't care. Um, the rating of this, I'm going to give this rating a, a 8.5 and a half, a 9 out of a 10. It was really, really good. Really, really good. I can taste the flavors. Last five, six years ago, I did it. It tasted like water. I didn't taste anything. I didn't, I didn't get nothing. Literally nothing. I didn't get anything. This one, I do. I got melon. I'm trying to get some other flavors. I can't really spit out my mouth, unfortunately. But I do taste a little bit of green tea. Maybe that's just my taste buds. I don't know. Could be my taste buds. I mean, I have no idea. But it's really good. I recommend you guys, if you guys still have Solar Flare around anywhere... Cause I know it's gone, and if you still have it, try to nag, uh, try not nag. I'm sorry. Try to grab it all as you can before it goes actually bye bye. Because pitch black is also in the same category. Try to get as many solar flares as you can. Same thing with pitch black. Put them in bottles and keep them. But yeah, but that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next few hours because I'm going to NXT. And I hope you guys have a good time with this review here. And you guys be careful. And you guys be on the next lookout on my next Mountain Dew flavorings that I'm going to do next. <laughs> Take it easy and, uh, yeah. Mmm. Solar Flare. Mmm. It's just too good. <laughs>